Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, I don't know if you can hear it, but we're just warming up the engine. Bob's already gone, and uh, we're getting out of the Walmart parking lot. Not because we're ready, but because, of course, the minute I posted that video, am I living at a Walmart? Did they not come outside and said, excuse me, you guys cannot be here. So, we're heading uh, out of here. I'm not exactly sure where we're going. We might check out a campground um, about half an hour from here. I don't know, so we might end up there or uh, along the road somewhere, who knows, but here we go. All right, guys, well, we went and saw the campground. It's nice. I didn't take any footage there because I got busy, you know, chatty Kathy. and stuff's falling in the RV as we go around these turns. Mountain roads, or Bob's driving. Oh, <laughs> take a hike. <laughs> Anyways, the campground's nice, so we will be back there probably at the end of the month. Maybe we'll spend a month there, maybe two, who knows with us. But right now we're going to uh, get the other half of the convoy because uh, someone, one of us got stuck in the mud, not me, but, uh, and not Patrick either, but his friends from Montreal went to do a U-turn where I parked and um, got stuck in the mud, so. I think they're out now, but uh, the RCMP showed up and a tow truck and we missed all that, I guess. But we're almost back there now. And because I'm not the one driving today, I can kind of work the camera a little bit better. So, whoa, whoa. <laughs> look at that lake. Uh, of course. Windy mountain roads. Big cuts. Big rock cuts. There we go. These are the type of drives that I love. Beautiful scenery, windy roads. The lake sure is beautiful, with the mountains around it. And another morning is upon us. We ended up back at the Cathedral Grove, although I took a different spot, but yeah. So Patrick, myself, and Precious are just out for our morning walk, as you can see. It's uh, kind of foggy, but uh, still beautiful. Mom, this part of the video is for you. <laughs> Look at all these ferns. They are just everywhere. Look, even Precious likes the ferns. <laughs> Such a beautiful atmosphere here with all the moss hanging off the trees and the ferns. It's just beautiful. Well, leave it to me and my crafty ideas. I said, Patrick, let's go for a hike. Well, the trail turned into a dead end and now we're on the side of the highway. Whoops. Well, we're back from our highway venture and we're getting a little fire going. Or we're, we're trying. Neither one of us are uh, lumberjacks, but we're doing our best. Oh, Patrick says he is a lumberjack. All right, we'll give credit where credit's due. <laughs> okay, Operation Get a Good Fire Going is a success. So, let's hope I can uh, find enough wood to keep it going for a bit. So, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of this place. So, this is one of the campsites here. And then, right here beside me, there's another small one. And then, if we go back this way... I'm gonna flip you around. So if we come back here, this is the area behind me. Like, look at the size of these trees. That one's gotta be five feet wide at least. Beautiful spot though, can't complain, especially considering it's free. Right on the river, surrounded by moss covered trees. It's breathtaking. 
Bob's over here. And then over there is uh, a couple from Quebec. And Patrick is in my old spot last time I was here. Patrick's way over there. Also beside the, uh, the river. Oh, the Quebecois are leaving. Bye guys. So my only real complaint about this spot would be that the highway is right there. And I don't know if there's some war on camping that I'm <laughs> unaware of, but it seems that in the middle of the night, all the trucks and cars like to just go by hammering on their horn. So I don't know, but I suspect it's a war on camping because they uh, probably don't much care for uh, so many RVs and vans just pulled over on the side of the road parking because there was us three and then another three when I woke up. So six of us in total. <laughs> well, we seem to be running out of firewood. I've resorted to burning all the big logs that I can find. And it's not working out very well. But Patrick just texted and said he made some soup. So let's go to Patrick's. All right, everybody, welcome to the mansion. Look at this service. We got gigantic salt and pepper shakers. And what kind of salt is this, Patrick? It looks like it's pink. It's pink, it's pink salt. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Himalayan salt or something. Yep. And then some, look, even the napkin is folded so pristine. Oh, and some fresh soup. It looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patrick. You're saying it like, it look delicious, yeah. It does look delicious. <laughs> well, I ate all my soup, vegetable soup, <laughs> because although it seems like I live on McDonald's, if you go back and watch these videos, but I do eat some, some vegetables sometimes. What kind of cookies do we have? Seems how someone forgot to buy a cake today, Patrick. Oat, oatmeal. Oatmeal. <laughs> <laughs> and cheap Walmart. Oh. That's not that bad, good choices. Walmart wafers. A bad one, another bad one. Or French oatmeal cookies. You brought these from Montreal, didn't you? I think I did. Yeah. Probably the tradition like there. Yeah. Uh, oh boy. So no cake for us, but... Uh, I guess I'll have a wafer. And it's another day. Another cloudy, overcast day. But we're leaving this campsite and we're heading, I believe, into Parksville. Yeah, Parksville. So, are you tired? So, I'll catch you when we get there. And off we go. At least it's a pretty drive around here. So this is the area I was trying to walk to, but it's a lot further than I thought. There's all beautiful walking trails in there, but they got it closed off for COVID. So I don't know, I guess walking in the rainforest, you might catch COVID. <laughs> Well, we just passed a place called Goats on the Roof. It's like a country market type store that literally has goats on the roof. I couldn't get the camera out fast enough, but it'll be in a future video, that's for sure, because it looks super interesting. And the goats are also very cute. Everybody caught up to me. For a while there, it was just me by myself, but I can see Patrick behind me and Bob behind Patrick. Oh, and if you're wondering, the tire is still holding on for dear life, but uh, so far so good. Wait, Presh. You know you're excited. And the sunshine's coming out. Finally. A little bit of blue skies. 
So as you can see, we all made it here to Parksville and currently we're just parked at, uh, I think it's an arena of some sort. I don't know, it says Oceanside Place. Finally, sunshine. <laughs> of course, I forgot my sunglasses. Oh my God, I see a palm tree. I don't know what it is about them. I just love them. So let's go that way. Oh my God, they're everywhere on the street. I love it. I guess people get them for ornamental purposes, but I just love it. That one on this side's a little bit bigger. You can see down the road there, off in the distance, a little bit of the ocean and the mountains in the background. Well, I'm just gonna go for a walk with the dog around the area. Oh, another palm tree. God, I love them. Makes me feel like I'm in a different country. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna just go for a little walk here around the area. And then, uh, I don't know, find somewhere to sleep tonight. We might stay here, I don't know. And then I think tomorrow we're going to uh, go to a campground for a day or two. So, if you wanna see what we do uh, at the campground or if we even end up at one or what we end up doing here in Parksville. That's a weird looking house. I don't know if it'll, it almost looks, it almost looks abandoned. Anyways, if you want to see what we get up to in Parksville, make sure to watch the next one, and I'll catch you then. Bye for now.